Oh, it's you. I've been waiting all my life for you to come here. Come on. Welcome to Flexitude. Come on in. I've just always been able to talk to this other character, and he could always talk back. Uh, I mean, everybody talks to themselves. You know, I just give it voice out loud. It's all good. All, all my life, I've been uh, been intrigued by making the make believe come to life. And my dad was in show business. This was always kind of like the given that I was going to do something like that. My father brought me into the room. He sat me down. He said, "No, Greg, I just want you to know that show business is very hard, and you need something to fall back on." And I said, "Okay, Dad, if I can't be a puppeteer, I'll be a drummer." So he went, ha ha, and he said, that's my boy, and he gave me a hug. <laughs> Olga and I are kind of rare these days in the puppet world that we design, build, and perform all our own puppets. Yeah, baby, come down here. Oh, yeah, keep going. Oh, yeah, I'm just an object, they're saying, and I object to that. He always says we met under a bed. <laughs> we did. When people see me, they go, eh, hey, uh -huh. two people of the opposite sex. We'll all right. They were puppeteers yeah. and vegetarians. A fella who was going to do this shoot coming up the next week cut his thumb on a bandsaw and he couldn't do it. And so she called me and said, I got an emergency thing, can you come in? Emergency puppeteer, here I come. You know, so I went down and I met, I met her for the first time, although I, I heard of her because Olga Felgemacher was a famous puppeteer name. Right. No matter how sad things get, there, there has to be comedy. They're just People need to laugh. You need to bring joy to people. Everybody is alone with a screen, a computer screen or a television screen. And just to be in a theater with other people experiencing something. Ah, it's an embarrassment of wishes. A girl here. A girl here. A puppet is only alive once it lives in someone's imagination. I do have eyes. Yeah. And sometimes we get into the zone where it becomes so much bigger than life that it's as if I'm sitting there as a kid watching the puppet do the thing independent from me, just as entertainingly as I wanted it to be. And anything I can make believe in my wildest imagination, if I make it good, it'll live in someone else's imagination. Like looking at a cloud, I can see a, I can see a tree and you can see a dragon, we're both right. It's the same kind of magical transference of uh, ideas that happens when people see puppetry. He punched me on my ass. I'm all yours. Come on back and see me when this thing is over, won't you? I'll string you along, you know what I'm saying. Eh? <laughs> oh, yeah.